Hello, today I want to go over SI joint stabilization, the entry level trio of exercises, which includes hip adduction squeezes, hip abduction isometrics, and stability ball TA pressing. This is how we're going to address SI joint pain at an entry level. So first we use either a ball or a foam roller in this instance. And what we're doing is we're activating those hip adductors, squeezing through that foam roller like we're trying to bring our knees together which is going to help those hip adductors anchor our pelvis and stabilize our SI joint. This is going to be important. Sometimes you may feel some slight cavitation at the SI joint or the pelvis, but the biggest thing here is that we're getting a good contraction of those hip adductors, the inner thigh muscles, which are going to help stabilize our pelvis. From here, we're going to move into a hip abduction isometric. And hip abduction isometric is the same exact exercise, just the exact opposite, where we are pushing out, which is activating our hip abductors, mainly our lateral glutes, which are going to help stabilize the pelvis because they insert on the pelvis in our hip, which essentially is going to allow us to activate those glutes and anchor that pelvis, stabilize that SI joint so we aren't getting as much movement and we're getting back into a neutral position, which is a comfortable position for our lumbar spine as well as our SI joint. This one is another one that just stabilizes that SI joint and activates the glutes. This third and final one, as you can see here, I'm checking to see if I'm properly bracing through my core. Once you have that back flat and your belly button tucked towards your spine, what you're gonna do is maintain that position, breathe normally, and press down. This is activating my transverse abdominis, which anchors on the front of my pelvis, which helps stabilize my pelvis and stabilize my SI joint while also addressing the core instability that is present in a lot of SI joint dysfunction. Executing these three exercises regularly and before and after exercise can very much help SI joint dysfunction as well as SI joint instability and promote relief from SI joint and lumbar symptoms. Thank you.